morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another fun science experiment. Today, we're going to look on how does a shark float. With me, I have my friend, and she is going to help me. So the equipment that we need, or the items that we need to do the science experiment is, we're going to need two balloons, any color of your choice. We're going to need some water. And we're going to need some oil. And you need a Sharpie to make ta da ta da that scary shark face. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we are going to fold the water up. You also need a small funnel. And as we pour, you can think about the daddy shark. As we finish pouring the water in our balloon, we tie a knot. And then we're going to move to the next balloon, which is going to contain our oil. We're going to pour it all in. Adam, Adam. Have both balloons and their tie. I want to remind you that our red balloon represents the liver of the shark. And we should expect it to float and not sink. Draw the shark face on. While you're putting the face on, it's up to you to be creative with Mama Jack or Big Brother or Sister. You can make your shark face funny or you can make it scary, whichever one you like. And so now we've drawn both um, faces on our shark and we're going to put them in. So first we're going to see the shark with the water. This shark is supposed to sink all the way to the bottom. Ah, see, he's there. Bye bye sharky. And now this is the one with the shark liver. Let's see what happened with this one. Oh, see, it is on top. It's floating. So remember boys and girls, our activity for today is how do sharks float? And there you have it, that's the liver of the shark, and this is the oil, that's the water, and so one sink and one float. Thank you very much boys and girls for stopping by, and remember, science is fun! fun.